Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And today we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop and also I'm going to share you a cool brush. So if it's your first time and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe and that'll have to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go and we're in Photoshop and let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm going for 4x5 and let's keep the resolution as 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click and create. And then right after that let's create a solid and then let's give a kind of darker color, maybe something like that and then let's add a shape so i'm going for a rectangle and uh, let's create maybe something like this size and let's change the color to a uh, kind of off white maybe somewhere around here and let's make a copy ctrl j ctrl t let's make it a little smaller and then for this one let's round this corner somewhere around this and let's change the color to kind of similar darker color and let's select these two rectangles let's make it a little bigger and maybe let's increase a little on this size all right so here we go and let's keep it inside a group Control g and let's rename it as a uh, box or you name it whatever you like it let's uh, add some random cuts and for that i'm going to use this lasso tool and yep let's see as i'm going to make it really rough and let's make an inverse selection Control shift i and let's add a layer max so just like so and then Right after that, let's drag and drop this paper burn right over here. Uh, let's change the blending mode to multiply. Control T. Let's keep it somewhere around here. Or yeah, I mean, let's add some rotation here. Let's keep it like that. And then uh, let's press Control and L. Let's uh, make this a little darker and let's increase the whites just like so and then let's create a clipping max control T let's move it just like that let's add a warp yeah let's keep it like that and let's make a copy control J control T let's move it in this way again same thing let's create a clipping max and control t let's add a little warp and maybe somewhere around here too and then let's make a one more copy control j control t let's keep one right around here and again same thing right click create clipping max so yeah let's keep it like that and then let's uh, drag and drop our very first image so this one let's drag and drop right over here and let's keep it all the way to the top Control T let's make it a little bigger just like so and let's keep it inside this box and then and right click let's create a clipping max so that this image remains inside this black rectangle Control t let's make it a little bigger just like so and then let's go on very top Control j let's make a copy Control t let's add a little part right over here Let's create a layer max, go to brush and let's edit some of these parts. Yep, let's keep it like that. 
now let's drag and drop this fire image right over here uh, let's make it a little smaller Control t and let's make it smaller again same thing let's change the blending mode to screen yeah let's change the blending mode to screen and Control t let's add some rotation let's keep it just around here right click add some warp and control l let's get rid of these hard edges just like so and let's get another image so let's drag and drop this image right over here again same thing let's change the blending mode to screen control t let's make it a little smaller Let's add some rotation all right now let's drag and drop another image so let's see let's go for this one let's drag and drop right over here and let's make it a little bigger Control t yep just like so and let's do some adjustment and let's see let's select all those Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Yep, just like that. You know what? Like, let's move this image out for now, just for a second. And let's turn that off. I'd like to add some rotation. So, Control T, let's add a little rotation. Just like that. And then let's bring that image back uh, to right over here and control T again let's create a clipping max control T let's make it a little bigger some more yep just like so and let's make a one more copy Control J and let's keep it outside all the way to the top and then let's erase everything yep let's keep it like that and let's do some color adjustments so for that let's uh, select this image go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and then from here let's uh, drop down the highlights so let's increase the shadows and then let's increase the exposure a little bit and then let's increase the clarity increase the texture let's drop down the vibrance somewhere around here and you know what like, let's drop down the exposure a little bit yep let's keep it like that and let's click in ok and let's apply the same thing for uh, this image so select this one filter let's apply the same camera raw filter uh, let's do the same thing for this image so select this one filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's increase the exposure a little bit for this one and let's increase the shadows yep let's keep it like that and let's click on ok let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for a grunge brush so i'm going for let's see yep let's let's go for this one and let's add some strokes and let's erase some of these parts i guess this is too much so yep, let's erase some of these parts from here let's do some from here too and then let's create a one more layer again go to brush and we 
So let's go for another grand brush. So let's see. Yeah, let's go for this one. Now let's drag and drop this texture overlay right over here and let's change the blending mode to green. Control T, let's make it a little smaller. Just like so. Here we go and then let's add a curve on very top. Yep, just like so and let's add some text. And then let's uh, let's do a final touch up. So let's create a new layer. Go to brush, and let's go for a general soft brush. And let's change the color to kind of more reddish. Yep, something like that. And then uh, let's make it a little smaller. Let's change the blending mode to soft light let's change the opacity a little bit more let's create a one more layer and with the same color let's add more some right over here let's change the blending mode to soft light let's go for a kind of lighter color Yep, and let's change the opacity a little bit down somewhere around here. Alright, so that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.